Right, we're back from Roll Out Roll Call! Yes, indeed, we've wrapped up the first big convention of the year, and I'm feeling chilled and fulfilled. Oh boy, so this is my second year doing conventions, and it kind of felt a lot like just catching up with the crew. And there's just a really kind of chilled and intimate vibe to the whole thing. Even though it's like this big scale event in this enormous hotel, it all still felt very cosy and snuggly. So this is the first year that Roll Out had moved away from the Premier Inn in Southampton. We were at the uh, Radisson Blue Edwardian at London Heathrow, and my god, that place is amazing! It just felt like kind of midway between the British Museum and Coruscant. But yes, it was just a lot of fun to see everybody again and hang out and talk about bots and pick up some plastic and be a dickhead for a few days. So what was there for panels? There was uh, Steve and Dave Mapes doing a uh, little bit of a presentation about their kind of history of collecting. Because their collection is just stunning. It's enormous. And like they've kind of penetrated the inner circle into getting like um, prototypes from G1 and that kind of stuff. So it was really interesting to get like some insights from a collector of that level. Neil Ross and Morgan Lofting were endlessly charming. My god. Uh, they just hang out at the panel with us and just told us some stories about the old days and they got involved with some daft quizzes and things and it was just really nice to be in their presence, you know. Uh, Boss Fight Studios were there with their uh, Vitruvian hacks. They're doing all like ancient Greek stuff like Medusa and Leonidas. Super detailed and amazingly articulated. So it's going to be really hard for me not to get completely addicted to it. Uh, my panel went okay, I think. Kind of went off to a bad start though because um, thank you so much for all the questions you sent in. Me and Dave went through them and we printed out the best ones and and we're like, yeah, this one's a funny one, that's a silly one, we'll do this one here, that's interesting. And then I lost it. I think it still went okay though, it was a lot of fun. Either way, we've recorded the audio and I've uploaded it here so you can have a listen. And, uh, you know, I think it was okay. Oh boy, Dave Shorter did like an update panel on his Admiral Akbar collection. He was there last year and he did this little five minute spot about how he's just collecting Admiral Akbar figures. And he came and did it again, and again it was brilliant. Plenty of drinking too, as is customary. We uh, went to a little pub down the road and I ended up with um, Smuzno and uh, the Forge Circuit drinking whiskey till midnight. Oh, we tried to do like a shot and bots thing, but it went horribly. So following on from that, I was dead on my feet for all of the Sunday. Just useless with hangover. But I did catch the custom contest, which they do every year. It's like, uh, you take a G.I. Joe vehicle and paint it up like a Transformer. Smuzz had done a hiss tank and painted it in the colour of War Within Grimlock. Oh god, I met, uh, a father and son from Poland, uh, the Torskis? The young and Mateus. He'd scratch-built some clay minicons. Like, he had a Fast Track Scorponok's little mate, and, um, Skyjack and a couple of others, and he built them out of clay, and they transformed. They were just the coolest. What a legend! And also there was an enormous, um, I'm sure it was one of the baddie vehicles from the old Action Force. Just a giant walking red skull. So badass. It was enormous. It's the most metal thing I've ever seen. Oh, and also there was this fabulous, like, bomb burst. It was like a, the Green Goblin sort of, uh, setup, where it was on a little hover platform, but it was this big werewolfy monster, like Bombust's um, pretender shell thing. So badass, man. I can't remember who made that, but good on you. And that was pretty much it, you know? Just a really chilled weekend, just hanging out with lovely folks, doing the thing we all love to do. And because it was in London, I stopped by our Liz's gaff on the way home. Beautiful time. So big ups to everybody I met there, and huge, huge love to Dave Tree. God, this poor guy, he worked so hard to put it on. He did it all by himself. What a legend. So Dave Tree, all the cool stuff crew, love you, love you, love you. Uh, and now I'm going to show you the things that I bought. So I think it's about time I showed you all the disgusting capitalist products I bought. I always love the deal as a rollout, because with it not just being Transformers, you never quite know what you're going to find. But having said that, I did indeed pick up some Titans Return. Oh god, these guys are so nice. Hardhead in particular is wonderful. And uh, I got my boy Skull Smasher up in the house. That's what I love about conventions, because I've been going to Smith's and Toys R Us for weeks trying to find these. And then you go in at rollout and they've just got them. So yes, I grabbed uh, Skull Smasher and Hardhead off the Kapow Boys, thank you very much. Along with a uh, little terrible there, who I picked up from uh, all the cool stuff. The Titans have returned to my face! Also picked up a cheeky Ladybird storybook from back in the day. Uh, I did have this as a kid and I just always loved Galvatron's face on the cover there. Oh my balls! So cheers to uh, Nick Snowden for that one, that was a find. Nothing says conventions like expensive repaints, so I went ahead and treated myself to a Henke Astro Train. Oh boy, I did feel a bit dirty buying this because I've got the original on that, but like I've wanted it for years. So I grabbed that off the space bridge and everyone's a winner! Original comics from Paul Goodenough. There's a collection here of uh, a few short stories, Wreckers vs Predacons and so forth. So I should be having a good read of that one evening this week. Uh, it was also talking a little bit about his new title, The Chimera, which he's asked me not to say too much about, so uh, go ahead and check it out on Facebook instead. Oh boy, I did have a shopping list this year and I bought absolutely nothing that was on it. I say this because I went to the Toy Foo stand where they had a uh, complete pounce and wingspan. 
But uh, I chickened out and bought Gut Cruncher instead. God, he's lovely. He's like Bad Guy Roadbuster. Likewise, from Toy Fair, I picked up GoBot's Bad Boy and Zero, who are incredibly strange and not very good, and I love them. This was a nice story, actually. I was looking at this, uh, the Heroes of Cybertron Seeker collection, but I was talking to uh, a chap called Daniel from Denmark, hey, and um, I decided not to get it. But uh, then later on in the day, there was like a contest for all the attendees, just like pull names out of a bag and then you win a thing. And I won something and I felt horrible about it because, you know, I'm there on a media pass. I didn't even pay for my ticket. So there's me winning, uh, what was it, the volume two of the complete IDW collection, the hardback. And I'm like, I didn't enter this contest on purpose. So I gave it to our Daniel, who was delighted. And later on, he uh, bought this for me. Oh, so that's lush. These are cool, man. I'm so glad to have the Cybertron Skywarp and three little generic purple Deceptor Bros I didn't even know existed. Happy few. Questions I should have used at the panel. Couple of knockoffs, obviously. Uh, Nicholas at Toy Fu, absolute legend, picked me up this thing from TJ Hughes. It is called Transmutation Robot, and it will give you infinite pleasure. <laughs> Such trash. Uh, Adam from the TF Nation crew also sent me this. He wasn't there, so he sent it along with uh, Nicholas. And it is a VTech Switch and Go Dino. Does it count as a knockoff? It's VTech. So I'm just going to count it as a knockoff for banter. Cheers, Dadam. Dadam and the Bants. <laughs> Very happy with this. Picked up a, uh, I forget which stall I got it on, but it is a Masters of the Universe Extender. Yes, indeed, the White Knight of Stretchy Might. So that is one I didn't expect to find, but I'm thoroughly glad that I did. So yeah, plenty of non-Transformer stuff this year too. Um, Nick Snowden gave me this action figure. I don't quite recognize it. Is it a Kamen Rider or something? Young Nick also gave me this red transforming Power Ranger looking man. Also, there's a Power Glide. He gave me a horrible, shitty Power Glide. There he is. Look at that piece of crap. <laughs> So cheers, Nick. You know me so well. Uh, speaking of Vitruvian hacks, I did pick up one of their Skelly Men. <laughs> he man. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, so happy. That's so cool. Uh, this was a surprise. Grab this at all the cool stuff. It is a GI Joe of Blanca. <laughs> Goddamn Gary Busey. Oh, this. This is a last-minute purchase. Goddamn complete Toxic Crusaders Radiation Ranger. This is the one guy I really wanted to get from Toxic Crusaders because I'm just a sucker for a henchman in a gas mask. You cannot hold that gun though. Ugh, so good. And I think that's your lot, apart from, uh, as you may know, there were some fairly tasty exclusives there this year. Uh, there was a big scary red Megatron, lovely black air razor, but like, upon seeing them, they kind of didn't really strike that chord with me, I don't know. And like, the Megatron's nice, but I've already got the R.I.D. one, and like, the orange one? I don't get the reference. So instead, I went and treated myself to, I can't believe I did this, subscription service nacelle. God, I'm such a sucker. It's just another seeker. This is one that, like, the instant I saw it, I wanted it. But it was right there in front of me. It was the only one in the building. I could just get it without jumping through any hoops. Because otherwise it's, you know, join the club, join the subscription service, go back in time, blah, 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 blah. So I did it. I bought TFCC nacelle. And I still can't quite believe that I went there. But I'm really glad that I did. So that's it. That's everything I got from Roller, apart from a lovely experience and some memories I'll treasure forever. Who says that? But that's it. It was a cracking time, and I can't wait to do it all again at TF Nation. Let's do this! Be sure to subscribe for more Fuse Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.